Assalamu alaikum. 6 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Sumera Kamal. The headlines first. Prime Minister says a one-window operation is being promoted in the country to facilitate investors and business community. Pakistan and Lithuania at sixth round of bilateral political consultations in Islamabad today have agreed to enhance cooperation in all fields of mutual interest. Naya Pakistan housing program has been expanded up to 19 cities to provide shelter to poor segments of the society. In occupied Kashmir, Chairman Hurriyat Forum has asked India to resolve a Kashmir dispute through dialogue in line with UN resolutions. In Iraq, at least four people have been killed in a car bomb blast in south of Mosul city. Pakistani cricketer Sana Mir secured a top position in ICC's One Day International Women Bowlers ranking. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the one window operation is being promoted in the country for increasing domestic and foreign investment and facilitating the business community. He was talking to a delegation of Saudi ministers comprising Finance Minister Mohammad Al Jadan, Minister for Trade and Investment Dr. Majid Al Qasabi, Minister for Energy and Mineral Resources Khalid Al Faleh, Chairman Saudi Development Fund Ahmed Al Khatib, and Director Public Investment Fund Yasser Al Ramayan in Riyadh today. The Prime Minister said a special cell has been set up to facilitate the business community. He highlighted investment opportunities in Pakistan's various fields, including energy. The Saudi ministers expressed interest in Pakistan's economy and discussed various projects for joint investment. Earlier, Prime Minister Imran Khan held a meeting with Saudi King Salman bin Abdul Aziz in Riyadh today. They exchanged views on bilateral relations and regional and global political situation. They expressed desire to further enhance and diversify bilateral cooperation. Matters pertaining to mutual interest, trade, investment and economic ties also came under discussion during the meeting. They also talked about the problems being faced by the Pakistani workers and laborers in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi king directed the ministry concerned to take immediate steps to resolve the problems being faced by the Pakistanis. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the PTI government has inherited a huge burden of a current account and fiscal deficits and it is working on different fronts to get out of this financial crunch. He was speaking during question-answer session at the three-day Future Investment Initiative conference, which began in Riyadh today. We're talking to the IMF. What we are hoping is that we can do a bit of both, get some loans from friendly governments, at the same time uh, get a loan from the IMF. And so to go through this period, which we feel we have a tough uh, period of uh, corruption. And secondly, corruption diverts money from human development to mega projects which give mega kickbacks which leave a country indebted. Responding to a question about terrorism, Prime Minister Imran Khan said Pakistan has achieved great successes in the fight against terrorism due to unprecedented sacrifices in men and material. He said we have lost over 80,000 lives in the war on terror. To another question, Imran Khan said we want peace with all our neighbors, particularly India and Afghanistan for lasting regional peace and stability. He said peace with India would help the two countries to divert their resources towards human development instead of indulging in armed race. The sixth round of Pakistan-Lithuania bilateral po political consultations was held in Islamabad today. The Pakistan side was led by additional Secretary Europe Zahir Janjua, while the Lithuania delegation was headed by Ambassador Eduardus Boisros, Director Latin America, Africa, Asia and Pacific Department of Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They expressed satisfaction at the overall progress in bilateral relations and committed to enhance cooperation in all fields of mutual interest. Naya Pakistan housing scheme has been expanded up to 19 cities to fulfill housing needs of the poor segments of the society. Official resources of Ministry of Housing and Works told APP that the government has decided to include two more cities from South Punjab, namely Dera Ghazi Khan and Muzaffargarh in Naya Pakistan housing program, following which the number of total cities under this program has risen to 19.
The sources informed that National Database Registration Authority has started receiving forms from citizens who are applying for a house under the Naya Pakistan Housing Program from October 22nd for seven districts announced in the initial phase. For remaining 12 cities, the process to submit a registration form will start from January next year in the second phase. Former Prime Minister Shahid Khaqan Abbasi says the allegations leveled against him regarding import of liquefied natural gas are baseless. Addressing a news conference along with other PMLN leaders, Musaddiq Malik and Maryam Aurangzeb in Islamabad this afternoon, Shahid Khaqan Abbasi said he is ready to answer any allegation and he owns all the decisions made by him as Prime Minister. He said the energy problems of the country would have not been resolved if LNG was not imported. This is Radio Pakistan. In Occupied Kashmir, Chairman of Hurriyat Forum, Mirwais Omar Farooq, in a tweet appreciated Prime Minister Imran Khan for condemning the killings in the territory. He urged India to resolve the Kashmir dispute through dialogue in line with the United Nations resolutions. Indian authorities imposed stringent restrictions in Sirinagar today to prevent a march towards Lal Chowk against the surge in killings and other impressive repressive measures by the Indian forces. In Iraq, at least four people have been killed and 15 others wounded in a car bomb blast in the south of Mosul city. According to reports, the incident occurred when a vehicle packed with explosives parked near a restaurant and a crowded market area in the northern Iraqi town of Qayyara. No group claimed responsibility for the attack. Turkey says it is ready to cooperate if an international investigation is launched into the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Speaking at a ruling party meeting in Istanbul today, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said the murder of Jamal Khashoggi was a premeditated and meticulously planned political assassination. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia said the kingdom is committed to a thorough and complete investigation to get to the truth behind the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in Turkey. Foreign Minister Adel al jaber Riyadh had sent a team to Turkey for a joint investigation and uncovered evidence of a murder in the Saudi Arabian consulate in Istanbul. Australia has imposed sanctions against five military officers of Myanmar who are accused of overseeing barbaric violence against the Rohingya. Australia also announced that it would freeze the assets of officers, including a lieutenant general who commanded a special operations group believed to be behind atrocities. Pakistani cricketer Sana Mir secured a top position in ICC ODI Women Bowlers ranking. The 32-year-old former captain clinched the number one spot after bowling performances against Australia in the recent ICC Women's Championship Series in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Mir's bowling lifted her three spots in the rankings as she surpassed Mary Zan Cap of South Africa, Australia's Megan Shirt, and Jess Tunasen of Australia. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is likely to prevail in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, rain thunderstorm is expected at isolated places in Kalath and Makran divisions. To end the news, here are the headlines once again. Prime Minister says the one window operation is being promoted in the country to facilitate investors and business community. Pakistan and Lithuania at six round of bilateral political consultations in Islamabad today have agreed to enhance cooperation in all fields of mutual interest. <music> Naya Pakistan housing program has been expanded up to 19 cities to provide shelter to poor segments of the society. In Occupied Kashmir, Chairman Hurriyat Forum has asked India to resolve a Kashmir dispute through dialogue in line with the UN resolutions. In Iraq, at least four people have been killed in a car bomb blast in south of Mosul city. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radio, Pakistan News Official.